The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. One member of the Sanhedrin, however, a Pharisee called Gamaliel, who was a teacher of the law respected by the whole people, stood up and asked to have the men taken outside for a time. Then he addressed the Sanhedrin. Men of Israel, be careful how you deal with these people. Some time ago, there arose Thutis. He claimed to be someone important and collected about 400 followers. But when he was killed, all his followers scattered, and that was the end of them. And then there was Judas the Galilean at the time of the census, who attracted crowds of supporters. But he was killed too, and all his followers dispersed. What I suggest, therefore, is that you leave these men alone and let them go. If this enterprise, this movement of theirs, is of human origin, it will break up of its own accord. But if it does in fact come from God, you will be unable to destroy them. Take care not to find yourselves fighting against God. His advice was accepted. And they had the apostles called in, gave orders for them to be flogged, warned them not to speak in the name of Jesus, and released them. And so they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, glad to have had the honor of suffering humiliation for the sake of the name. Every day they went on ceaselessly teaching and proclaiming the good news of Christ Jesus, both in the temple and in private houses. And our response is taken from Psalm 27. Yahweh is my light and my salvation, whom should I fear? Yahweh is the fortress of my life, whom should I dread? One thing I ask of Yahweh, one thing I seek, to dwell in Yahweh's house all the days of my life, to enjoy the sweetness of Yahweh, to seek out his temple. This I believe, I shall see the goodness of Yahweh in the land of the living. Put your hope in Yahweh, be strong. Let your heart be bold. Put your hope in Yahweh. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. After this, Jesus crossed the Sea of Galilee, or of Tiberias, and a large crowd followed him, impressed by the signs he had done in curing the sick. Jesus climbed the hillside and sat down there with his disciples. The time of the Jewish Passover was near. Looking up, Jesus saw the crowds approaching and said to Philip, where can we buy some bread for these people to eat? He said this only to put Philip to the test. He himself knew exactly what he was going to do. Philip answered, 200 denarii would not buy enough to give them a little piece each. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother said, here is a small boy with five barley loaves and two fish. But what is that among so many? Jesus said to them, make the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there and as many as 5,000 men sat down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were sitting there. He then did the same with the fish, distributing as much as they wanted. When they had eaten enough, he said to his disciples, pick up the pieces left over so that nothing is wasted. So they picked them up and filled 12 large baskets with scraps left over from the meal of five barley loaves. Seeing the sign that he had done, the people said, this is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, as he realized they were about to come and take him by force and make him king, fled back to the hills alone. The Gospel of the Lord.